What's up, people? In this video, Carolina Pakula. Hi, YP, smiley face. Check this out. Hmm. I feel like... I feel like I'm being set up. I don't trust women. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Even Carolina Pakula, who is my homegirl, but... <laughs> Bodybuilders try ballet for the first time. Okay, interesting. Um, I took ballet. Briefly, I did ballet for three months in college. I needed, um, when I, I went to university, you have to like, you know how you have to like sign up for classes? And I would always wait to the last minute. So all the classes, I would always have like some like totally messed up schedule for school. Cause I would, I would wait till the last minute and I would pick pretty much whatever classes I could get. And I remember one semester I had, um, I needed like one more unit to be full time and I had to be full time for some reason, I forget why. Um, and the only class that I could find was ballet. And it was like Friday for like four hours or something. It was like a, it was a one unit class. So I ended up taking it and uh, wow, amazing. Like I, I kind of thinking about it now, I kind of want to take it again. It's, it's humbling to see how, I was, I was very fit back then, but you see these girls like skinny little like stick girls who are like schooling you hardcore in ballet like just even like simple things like l literally like holding your arms above your head and like spinning in circles and walking in a straight line that shit is so hard oh my god um great for flexibility great for building your lower body and i remember after class when i would finish class i would like i would walk and i just i felt so much more sure of myself on my feet just, just very agile e even as i was walking even after the first class it's kind of incredible no oh hope you guys yeah we didn't have to wear this shit i got to wear shorts but whatever you're all happy my name is tipa pula i am 32 years old but i look closer to 25 don't you agree I ail out of the uh, jungle of Nigeria. That's in Africa, for those who don't know their geography. As you can see, I haven't missed a gym session in a while. Can you see, is the camera big enough? My accomplishment in powerlifting includes holding a world record and also looking jacked while doing it. Hi, my name is John Schaefer. I'm 6'3", I weigh 210 pounds, and I'm a powerlifter and bodybuilder. Uh, excuse me. My heaviest bench was 375, my deadlift was 600 pounds, and my squat was 512 pounds. When it comes to my size, I'm a dwarf compared to the other two. I want to destroy them at ballet so I can feel a little bit better about myself. They'll call me Twinkle Toes after this. <laughs> my name is Steve Gentili. I'm 6'3", 290 pounds, and I'm an elite power lifter in the 275 weight class. My best squat in a meet is 705. My best bench press is 562. My best deadlift is 804 pounds. Two of those are state records that I stole from my buddy T. Papulo. Kind of proud. Jesus Christ. Um, all right. Every time I watch stuff like this, every single time, uh, the black guy's hilarious. Oh my God. What, what a character. Um, every time I watch stuff like this, this is, this is my thought process. Okay. So first of all, Buzzfeed definitely knows how to make an interesting piece of content. Got to hand it to Buzzfeed. Uh, they, they've like figured out the clickbait formula like they have, like, and I mentioned this before, but like the, the way you make a, a catchy headline is you combine two things that have nothing to do with each other, like bodybuilders and ballet. Like what? Like you want to click on that. You, like you could also do like homeless people try ballet for the first time. It'd be the sa same effect, right? Um, that's number one. Number two, anytime I, I look at these guys, right? Like the, the first and the third guy, they're for sure on the sauce. Like no question. The middle guy, questionable. I'm, I'm still going to say yes, but probably just a low dose. Um, I always, I, I think to myself, I'm like, all right, like, is it possible to do this? To go, to go on like steroids? Like how many years of your life are you going to lose as a result, right? Like how much earlier are you going to die? I want to live as long as possible. Okay. That's I don't want to say that's one of my main priorities, but like it's pretty, it's, it's pretty high up there as I would think it would be for most people. But like a guy like this, like, I, I don't know how old he is. He didn't say, but 
you have to wonder, right? Because what's, what's the main problem with steroids? Like, why do all these steroid people die young? Because when, when you get to be so big, like pretty much impossibly big, like it's, it's impossible to get this big, right? So your, your organs also have to grow to compensate, right? Specifically your heart. So what happens is your heart becomes much bigger because it needs to pump much more blood through your body in order to like have you be alive, <laughs> basically. Um, and that's, that's kind of the issue as you get older is that your heart just gets older also. And you start to, you know, it just gets weaker. And then one of these days you just have a heart attack because your heart can't handle it anymore. Um, sometimes these people stay on, right, for a very long time. Sometimes they go off, right? And, and the issue is that when, when you do steroids for an extended period of time, you have what's called, I want to say, left ventricular hypertrophy which is basically like your left ventricle. I I'm, might be fucking this up, like any like anatomy doctor people out there, like feel free to correct me. Um, your left ventricle, like your heart has, I think four ventricles, which are these like, I don't know, I'm for sure fucking this up. Like it's either like a hole or a tube or something that's responsible for like pumping the blood through your body. If that gets too big, then it's too hard for your heart to pump the blood or it gets progressively harder and that apparently is irreversible so it's like the more you do steroids and the longer you stay on steroids the more that part of your heart grows and the harder that it gets progressively for your heart to pump that blood through your body and keep you alive so i'm wondering like what's what's the cutoff point where it gets too big where like your life is just going to be shorter you know what i mean 60 70 80 a lot of these pro bodybuilders that seem to take fairly good care of themselves they seem to kick the bucket around 80 years old um but then on the other hand you know you have studies that say like studies that are in favor of testosterone replacement therapy they say that low testosterone is also linked to early death so it's like you know obviously these guys don't have low testosterone like clearly not but you have to wonder like what's the sweet spot and the sad thing is you really only get one guess. So we'll see. Out of this. Ballet, ballet. I can't wait to do ballet. Hey, honestly, I have no idea what ballet is. I know the term like grand déjà or some shit. And it honestly just sounds like a Starbucks drink. Full disclosure, I have zero flexibility. I see this going very, very badly. Imagine the Incredible Hulk twinkle toying all over the place. That's what you're going to get. I just know I'm going to be better than them. I'm Vanessa. I'm a trainer here at Ballet Bodies. Today I'm going to be teaching bodybuilders the fundamentals of ballet. A little coupe front, and then you're going to throw Whoa. it up to the side and reach back. Did you see that? <laughs> Don't kick me, Steve. What's the tempo? Eight. Okay. Just snapping for a reason. Uh, I lost count. To this side, here we go. You, like, you, you got some no rhythm. rhythm. Yes. I can't see this. Too. Okay, so big be man. intelligent and like move to the side. Yeah, let's. Yeah. Ballet is so hard because your body has to be in positions that aren't natural for it at all. Two, three, four, two, two. T, how about you go first? Yeah. Come on, guys. <laughs> Come on, twinkle toes. <laughs> Step, jump. Step, jump. Oh my God. Come on. All right, they're for sure doing this like badly on purpose. Um, that that's not so hard what she was doing it's it's actually not so hard um, yeah I don't know whatever it's BuzzFeed like th that's really not so hard what she was doing like really Th these guys are very athletic like okay fine they're big and bulky but reasonably coordinated enough to do those little jumps for sure they could do much better but obviously if they like do it really well is that as funny as them like doing it poorly and hamming it up and looking stupid? Probably not. I just kind of wonder, I'm like, who are these people who watch Buzzfeed? Like, where did you even find this? Is this Buzzfeed's channel or something? Buzzfeed multiplayer? What is this? Wow, Buzzfeed, huh? Who invented Buzzfeed? It's fucking genius. I just want to say to all the parents out there with single girl freezes to death in the Sims 4 part 32 oh god 
You just have to appeal. N no offense. Who told me to do this? Carolina Pakula. I'm not saying you're stupid, but like, when you when you like the dumber you make your content, the more of a wide appeal that it will have. I, I should do some retarded shit like this. I should just like, you know what it is. I just have I have too much. Maybe I'm just too self-conscious. But like, I I should act like. Let's think about it. What should I actually do? Like, let's pretend. I had absolutely no shame. Okay, what would I do? to like get as much attention as possible and just like do retarded shit so to grow the channel right like i probably do some like logan paul shit like <laughs> what did he do I, I saw vines of him before where he would like he'd go to like a supermarket and you know like the conveyor belt where you like put your groceries where the cashier is he would like jump on the conveyor belt and like pretend like he was surfing and like scream li really loud in the grocery store <laughs> shit like that like uh, and for some reason, people will watch that. I, I don't know. Whatever. Come on. <laughs> that doesn't feel right. Little steps, little steps, little steps. Yep. What, what, and arm comes down. And lift. Keep those feet moving. Keep those feet moving. This Three. Hurts. Four, five. Four, five. I'm out of frame. Don't go off. <laughs> it's really amazing to see what their bodies can and can't do just because of all their muscles. Think about relaxing your shoulders down. Don't move Straps anything. Straps are too big. Hey, John, I'd like to apologize for talking smack to you earlier. They're taking it back. Yeah. I don't Man. think I'm making crazy walk of twinkle toeing. Honestly, I'm pretty elegant and poised in my day to day life. They call me Johnny Smooth on the down low. Guys, we're still in Tanu. I'm sorry. Oh. I gotta say, John has some really nice legs. Are we, are we sure he hasn't had practice at this? The tutu just blessed me with the gift. Ground play all the way down, as low as you can. Kind of like a sumo squat, right? Put a little yeah. bit more down. Oh, there we go. All right, there we go. My favorite move would probably be the jumping. I felt like I kind of hit a groove with that. Then jump, and then plie. <laughs> Damn! Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Where did that come from? Um, so my ballet class, I, I ended up dropping out. That was actually the semester that I dropped out of university or one of the semesters that I dropped out of my many, many attempts at uh, finishing university. Many of my failed attempts or in, incomplete attempts, let's call them. Um, I was just like, yeah, fuck this. But, but anyway, the, basically the way the class was supposed to go is that we were supposed to go to the class, right? And it was like, it was, I think, the semester was like three months, three and a half months. And then at the end of the three and a half months, we were supposed to do like a performance, right? I was the only guy in the class, by the way, which was pretty cool. Um, so obviously like I, I would have had to do something, but anyway, I didn't. But yeah, basically the way that it works is, is they teach you all of the moves and stuff in the class. And then I guess you do like a routine or, or like a, a show or something at the end. Um, I obviously didn't finish, so, uh, I don't know, like, uh, this is kind of ridiculous, um, it's BuzzFeed, like, honestly, this, this video will probably get, um, well, maybe not, oh yeah, 10 million subscribers, it's gonna get demonetized for sure, uh, anyway, let's just see what this is. <laughs> Worst part by far was getting into this costume. This is way too difficult and my body is not meant to do this. I think we were all the worst. I don't think there's anybody here that came close to doing what we were supposed to be doing. I mean, there were muscles I had that I've never really, you know, never used before. In conclusion, I am Twinkle Toes. This is retarded. Um. I don't know. I just wonder sometimes, am I just like such a stick in the mud that like I, I don't think this is funny or entertaining at all? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Am I like, am I such a snob that I'm like, <laughs> I'm too intelligent for this BuzzFeed entertainment nonsense. Um, or is it actually like, it's like the Twilight Zone, you know? It's like th somebody goes, they wake up one day and like the entire world is different and they're the same and they don't, 
they don't like understand. They're like, wait a minute, why is everything different now? And I'm the same. Am I crazy or is the entire world crazy? I think that's kind of like the appeal of that show. And that's just, I don't know, I kind of feel like I'm in the twilight zone like all the time, especially when I watch these YouTube videos of these basically like insane people. But interestingly enough, maybe that is the secret to making an interesting video. You basically what you have to do is you have to give people the impression that they're in the twilight zone, maybe. I don't really know. Whatever. Anyway, Carolina Pakula. Right? Mm, I don't know. I, I got nothing. I, I got nothing on this. Um I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Uh, anyway, yeah, if you guys have any other recommendations for videos or YouTubers, let me know. Leave me a comment. Peace.